Hello, good evening, welcome to Upfront. My guest today is a distinguished personality by all standards and qualifications. He had an excellent academic career, has been a regional minister before, but his latest ambition is what's the topic for our discussion today. But before we speak to Professor Joshua Alabi, now we do know that not long ago, around the same area in the Medina Adenta Highway, a young lady whose hopes of going on the go track in the double track in the free SHS program has just been cut short, being the 194th human being to have died at that particular small seven kilometer stretch, which the people there have been complaining about for a very long time. This has ignited spontaneous reaction from the people there, leaving them engaging the police and other security officers in some form of a brow, which is still a developing story currently. We'll be talking about that in detail too, but first, Prof, you're welcome to our front. Thank you. I hope you are doing well today. Wise Grace, I'm doing very well. Well, not so much of good news happening at uh, that particular stretch, Madina Adenta Highway. We have one ninety-fourth person dying. This young lady's hopes of going to school, being part of a free SHS, had just been cut short. She was killed when she was knocked down by a car at this point. And so we are clear. She makes it the 194th person and also making the statistics even worse. All over the country, as we speak today, this single spot claims one eighth of all the lives which are involved in pedestrian knockdowns in the country today. And that's how serious the situation is. The people are still rioting at that end. They are burning ties. They've said they've had enough. How do you take such a news? Very sad, Ed. Uh, first, um, greetings to your cherished uh, listeners. And um, I must say it's very sad. Uh, my condolences to the Bri family. I, 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 think, I think that uh, sometimes um, they will act as leaders. Um, this thing be happening. So is this not the first time? It's not the second time? It's not the third time? And sometimes the way we go through our processes, our bureaucratic processes, um, this now has become a, a security uh, risk for all mm -hmm. of us. Because, um, like you said, um, the, 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 the people around the vicinity are now out and um, challenging authority. So what I think that uh, what I think we should have done early is that um, we have a whole section in the military. We have this. Um, uh, is it engineer regiment? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And once you identify something that can be a security threat, national security must move on. And they could have been uh, invited, really, to assess the situation and fix that as well as possible. They are very capable of doing that. Um, I think that sometimes the way we want to go through processes, mm -hmm. we are leading people, yeah. and we have to lead them and lead them well. The laws we make are for the people, but the people are dying. So, we, we started counting. We here started counting yeah. from the one seventy person mm. in the last few weeks, virtually yes. every single day. Yes. Yes. When we have raised this concern mm. and the people have complained about the situation of the yeah. foot bridges, yeah. the absence of these fo six yeah. foot bridges. Yes. I mean, it's even erroneous to conclude that there are no foot bridges at all. Yeah. Yeah. There's a structure up there on the road yeah. that actually suggests that there's a foot bridge. Yeah. Is there an extension of the staircase that's not there as we speak? And up for God knows how long, yeah. this situation has still been there. Yeah. What angered the people is a response from the minister. Yeah. The minister of state's response is pretty clear. That he's in the Western region at all. He will <laughs> come when he has time to now come and speak to the media about how government hopes to fix the problem. This is what has triggered the kind of reaction, especially when the people know and they complain every single day. A human being loses their life on that particular stretch. What do you think about this reaction? Very sad because um, he's in the Western region. Mm -hmm. and. Like I said earlier, it's not a security risk. And you are now waiting to come to organize a press conference to tell the whole world how you're going to fix the problem. I think that as, uh, it should have moved in swiftly. And um, um, there could have been an immediate meeting with national security to move the military in. I think this is how we have to solve this problem. It's unfortunate he's waiting for his time to come. But we don't know what will happen the next time. Again, his, reaction, action, his, his reaction is that I'll come and brief parliament first of what oh I God. hope to do to we resolve the problem. We are leading people. We are leading people. It's our duty to protect them. You are not going to parliament to brief parliament. Then after what? You go through procurement processes. Mm -hmm. Then that will take some time. Just Before, like three months. Of course, yes. You see, in these three months, I believe the military can really move in and fix this thing. They are noted for that. They are very good at that. And I think that they should stop this long bureaucratic process and move in to fix this for us. Mm -hmm. um, what is happening there now can cause anything in this country. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we are ready for that. 
And we, I don't think the country is ready to wait for the minister to come for wherever he is to, to organize a press conference to tell us he's moving to parliament and after that to advertise and then to evaluate the process and then to select the best uh, bidder and then uh, you'll be given uh, the, 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 this thing, the, the, the letter to move into site. I'm afraid. Let's move in the military. Was day by this. day within the three yes, months people yes. keep dying? Yes, there. yes, yes. The younger the people problem. keep boiling up. Yes. It gets I, think, I think if it's not proactive, the president must be proactive. They should invite national security, they should move in, move the military to fix that. Okay. Now, what does this say about how we run our governance in this country? Because this looks to many people like an emergency, but it's been treated like just any other situation see, for God knows how long. The, the, the reason why we have corruption in this country, so, I mean, uh, one of the reasons why we have corruption, is our long bureaucratic process, mm -hmm. right? Of course, now he's going to think of who should be given the contract, yeah. right? But we have the military there, okay? And I believe that if I'm the president today, when I become president, say, province, you move in the military as early as possible. And first, they'll restore, what do you call it, law and order there, and fix the thing as early as possible. Once the post see that they move to site, okay, they'll be calmed down, and then after some while, we have things to be fixed. So I don't believe in this long process, if I, when, when you're a leader. The president must move in national security to resolve that for us. It's becoming a security threat to all of us in this the, the, the people, Apart from the debt that The people facing. who speak there, yeah. the residents there, yeah. those who lose family members, yeah. those who have seen death yeah. incidents happen there consistently, yeah. their complaint is a disbelief in the Ghanaian politician. They don't think that they are the that priority. That is why we have to... They are the priority of the Ghanaian politician. That's why we have to act very swiftly. Hmm. You follow? The first time, second, third time you moved in, hmm. you see... When bureaucracy feels national security moves in, I see. and that's why I believe they should have moved in as early as possible. We could have avoided this. And now we have it. Moving, you are talking of coming to organize a press conference, then you go to parliament, and, we sh and, and the people are really burning ties and whatever there, mm -hmm. mobilizing. And you think it's not a secret threat to all of us? Mm -hmm. It is. So at the end, it will not only be the problem that we are facing, but it will even escalate and move into other areas. I, I think that the president must call the minister to order and just move in national security, the military to go and fix that thing for us as early as possible. And avoid that long uh, bureaucratic process of uh, uh, what do you call advertising and awarding contract. The military is there. They can do that for us. Sometimes it's difficult to blame you for the act of politicians because of your very long academic period in between being politicians and getting back on that particular house. Yeah. But let me understand this. Yeah. When the people insist that mm. this is how you, the politicians, treat the ordinary people, is mm. it true? You see, that is a general statement. Yeah. But I also believe that um, wherever you have 90% or 95% not performing, you may have about 5 or 1%. Okay. And I strongly believe that I'm one of the 5% who will talk and perform. Yes. And people who know me can best uh, uh, give you, um, uh, what do you call it, my report on that. Yeah. It's to many who saw how you transformed the IPS into AUPSA today. Yeah. A bit astonishing to see that you still want to get back on the political horse and, and be in the fray. I mean, this is not so much of a very clean, nice terrain. Yeah. How would you want to get back in the gutters this time? Right? That's why we need clean people to, to go into politics, to fix some of the problems I'm talking about, mm. right? The way people have lost interest in politicians. You need people like me, you see. And um, I, I believe strongly that my background also tells me that I'm, I'm capable. Um, uh, I was a student leader myself. Yeah. I led the youth. Um, I was um, a sports administrator, so I have some experience also there. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I was a member of, I was a director of Olympics. I was general secretary of GALCA. I was a member of GFA. And I was a coordinator or manager of the Senior National Team, the Blasters. Mm. at a point in time in my life, you know. So I've moved grassroots. Um, as a politician, I was a member of parliament. Okay. As a minister, I was great Accra regional minister, northern regional minister, right? So national governance too, I have some experience also there. Then when you come to political party leadership, I was a great Accra regional chairman of NDC. Way back in 2005. 2001 to 2005. Yes. Yeah. And I was a campaign manager for press Amis for the 2004 election. Right. So in uh, with the political party leadership, Alabi has experience there. It, it's then, interesting. Then, 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 like you said, yeah. uh, I moved into the academy. <laughs> and uh, from lecturer to professor to head of department to pro-rector, rector, and the first vice chancellor mm -hmm. of the University of Professional Studies. Right. So when you, you, when, when you see yourself in all these positions, 
you understand the people. Okay. And you know how to act when you, the, you have problems. So I'm telling you, I would have acted very fast on the problem that you just said. No, because you are there for the people. And when you are if you are people, president, what would have been your reaction towards this minister? The, mili the towards minister, this minister, yes. Uh, the minister telling the whole world yes. that uh, even though people are dying, mm -hmm. I'm coming from Western Region yeah. to organize a press conference. Yeah. Right? Brief parliament first. Uh, actually. A brief parliament. Yes. Then organize a press conference before mm -hmm. I go through the procurement processes. Okay? You are fired. Mm. The people are dying. You are fired. You are fired. You are fired. People are dying. You are fired. Would you ask the president to do so to him? Well, everybody has a style, and maybe this is a style, but that is not my style. Mm -hmm. We are fired. We are there for the people. Yeah. And let's, let's show it. We are there for the people. Let's show it. T to be fair, you've not been seen in the public side since you left that NDC position as an active partisan politician. Yeah. How are the delegates receiving you? Do they still remember you? I mean, 2005, I'm sure by now, so when people who are holding positions have lost the position. How are the fresh, younger people receiving you now? You see, um, they taught us in primary one, two, three, four, somewhere, that history is a record of past events. Mm. So I have my track record in the party, which is history. Okay, that is They record bad. that? They know no, that? No. Well, we, have to, we, we, we tell them and they know. Mm. And apart from that, um, from 2005, when I, as, uh, I, I went into leadership as the deputy in my university to the full head, um, when the NDC won in 2008, uh, we did, I was in frontline politics, okay. but we were working behind the scene. And that is why when the NDC won, I was made uh, board chairman in some organizations. For example, Akar Technica University, I was the board chairman. Ghana Budura Council, I was the board chairman. And you, you need to be very active in, this, uh, in that party before you can move into uh, leadership. That's it. 2012, I was also um, a board chairman and also a member of the Finance Committee in 2016 of uh, in the Greater Accra Regional Finance Committee of our party. And when they tell you you're a member of a finance committee of a regional party, then of course then you know the role that they expect you to play. So of course I was in frontline politics, but I was also doing my bit. And those who know, know, and those who don't know, we are telling them. Yeah. So um, delegates are receiving me. My message is quite clear. Um, we lost 2000. We lost the 2016 election. Mm -hmm. We lost because of some reasons. I've done my research to, 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 to find solutions to the reasons why we lost. And you, you, uh, I've you, been going around. Are your uh, reasons any different from those of the Kwesi Bochwe Committee's report? Very different, very different. Um, but the computer the, 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 went across the, the, the country. I've not read the report. I've not read yes. the report. Okay, you've not uh, seen it. I've not seen the report. I've not seen the report. I've been reading from people like you when okay. you talk and yeah, mm. this. But as a party member, uh, I don't have a copy. You've not of seen it. it. I don't have a copy of the report. Even so, for it, it, somebody at your status, I, I don't have a copy timber. of the report. I don't have a copy of the report. Um, but what I know from my research, uh, we lost the election because um, there was a disconnect, strong disconnect between the grassroots the party and government. Okay. And before the election, our members told us in plain language that uh, we're not going to vote. Um, we thought they were joking because um, we believe that uh, they'll, they'll talk, 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 but mm. finally they'll vote. But if you look at the voter population 2012 to 2016, there was an increase, right? But you look at the results of the MPP, uh, it was almost the same as the 2012 election. I think yeah. you know that. The NDC results was even lower than the 2012. So it was clear that our people didn't vote, and they didn't vote for the MPP too. And so, their reasons were specifically what? And, 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 and like I said, it was a strong disconnect. So now, what can we do? Disconnect between party structures and the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, for example, so many people outside of the party structures don't really have any connection with the party structures. So many people work in the offices, the people who are working mm -hmm. in the banks, mm -hmm. they are not partisan people. Are they the people you are talking about? I'm talking of our party members. Who Actually, you're talking vote. about the delegates right. see, that are I, relevant to your current course. Yes, yes. Now I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm moving for a delegate Congress. <laughs> I get your so, point. So, 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 that's so, what so, so my first point, my first <laughs> yeah. point is mm. to get my delegates to get me there, mm. right? Then we'll look at the, uh, the, 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 the broad issue. Before we move on, let me chip in this. There's an accusation against former President Mahama that mm -hmm. he's really engaging in some form of uh, this regard for the delegates and acting as if he's already the chosen candidate of the party 
already going after the current government, going after the vice president, mm -hmm. and also the president pointing out errors of this administration rather than spending quality time engaging these people on the ground. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with this sentiment? I've not heard of the allegation. But what You've I not know, heard of the allegation? I've not heard of the allegation. Not at all. Not at all. I've not heard I of see. that. But what I know mm. is that every leader has his style. Maybe he has his own style, I have mine. I would, have, I would do mine differently, right? But Yours is concentrated on the delegates. Uh, mine is to get the delegates. You just told me that maybe they don't know me. So I have to go to them and talk to them. Mm -hmm. So maybe if, for him, they know him already. So I see. So it's, it's, it's a different it's a, it's, it's a style and I have my style. Yes. And my style is to talk to them and wait for them to ask me questions. So there will be that interaction between me and the delegates. Talk about action, and that's relevant now in this particular case. Yeah. I mean, the messages are similar. They sound confusing to the ordinary person, but it looks like your message and that of the former president are in sync. You seem to have <laughs> the same ideas on how to run the party structures and virtually everything. Great minds think alike, isn't it? Like I told you. Um, I did my research, and mm. uh, my, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the finding was very simple, that um, there was a strong disconnect. Okay. So I needed to come out with uh, some policies that will get our members back to vote. And uh, as we see today, we have about um, 72 uh, tertiary institutions, institutions in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, NDC won in only three, and MPP won in 69. Okay. So our own children, when they move to the university, and they come home, the first they minister, the, the, the first minister, mm -hmm. they move to a different party. I see. So it's not only our delegates and grassroots who are not voting, but our children are moving away. So my, my, my uh, solution is not only geared towards getting the delegates to vote for me, but to get the children of the, of the grassroots to come back to the party So when they go to university. So I have a package which is sinking, and I started my campaign last year. Yeah. And um, um, you some put of the, these messages uh, way yeah, earlier. From last year, I started mm -hmm. this message. So, um, if um, any other uh, aspirant is also using my message, fair enough. Is uh, it a mere uh, coincidence? Um, uh, I, 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 I don't know, but I started. Are you worried when, that when these I started, when I started, shared? supporters of some of the aspirants were insulting me on Facebook. I think you go and check, you see. This mm -hmm. man was he serious. He's going to branches. Why is he going to branches when we will have, we'll have a congress? Some of them didn't know that even the constitution of the NDC, uh, the, 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 the branch executives will be voting. Mm -hmm. Until when I started, they criticized me, they went to read and they saw that. So one, I led over there okay. by going to the branches mm -hmm. and I gave them my message. When I told the, the branches that um, um, I'll make sure every constituency, uh, we build office for every constituency, I told them that it's from last year. Again, I mean, you go to Facebook, WhatsApp, they were insulting me. But now other contestants are saying the same thing. So you know, I'm moving them to give our people the necessary uh, promise and attention when we come back to power. Do you feel uh, that um, your message is being stolen? You see, in politics, you cannot tell anybody that somebody is stealing your message because it's not in the university where when you pick somebody's, uh, what do you call it, There's message, uh, you, 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 you acknowledge the person, yeah. or it to be uh, said, uh, it's, 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 it, it, one can term it as plagiarism, Okay. right? Uh, we are not in a US system. I would have said this is plagiarism. <laughs> but, uh, but in politics, I mean, when you man the platform, you think plagiarism that this message... Plagiarism is accepted in politics. <laughs> well, I mean, in politics, uh, we, you, you, you are not going to defend anything where uh, a professor will ask you, why did you acknowledge, uh, what do you call it, uh, the, the, the main, the originator of this, uh, uh, what do you call it, theory, no. Uh, but in politics, that's how it is. So I will not say uh, somebody is telling my message, but I was, what I will simply say is that if people are buying to my message and other aspirants feel like using my message, I think it is all in the interest of our party. You think that, people are buying into your yeah. message? Sure, sure, sure. Is that sure, a feeling sure, you sure, get sure. on the ground? Oh yeah, because uh, like we said, others are using. Mm -hmm. So they realize that people are buying to my message. So if they don't go, uh, go by that direction, it, it, they, 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 they can't take on the kind of problems. Talk, so about, talk about people. I, mean, I, mm. I heard the, uh, what they mm. call the former president mm -hmm. roaming in the, this particular region. His yeah. regional tour was yeah. in the Greater Accra region yeah, long yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were not in the region yeah. at that particular time. Yeah. He went to your hometown. He went yeah. to your bagger where you yeah. have been, what they call it, yeah. uh, regional minister and also yes, been very yes. active in the party. Yes. Did that send shockwaves down your spine? that he's undoing the things you thought you have done in your background. I also went to Nori region. 
Okay, I see. Yeah. I went to Bury Ridge. Yes, but yes. did you and get the impression uh, that... Uh, no, I don't know why he got the impression that I was, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, uh, mm. organizing with the Nori. I don't think he got that impression. Yes, yes. so but you don't I think went, so? I went, I went, I went to Nori Region. It was, Are you it still was, in was, control uh, of your uh, background? Uh, I'm in control of not only my background, but even in this region. I mean, the, yeah. Let's be clear yeah. on this one. Talking yeah. about regional dynamics and all yeah. of that. Yeah. Why is it that the big people from the voter region, yeah. you talk about uh, Victor Beho yeah. and Ken Drasa, mm -hmm. these are still what's in the NDC. Yes. Why are they all rallying behind you? They believe my message. And they believe Just the message? You see, it's not the message. You see, you look at the track record of the person, right? You look at the person himself. And look at the vision that is presenting. And if you believe this will work for the party and the country, you move the person. I think that's what is making the move to me. And I'm very happy. I'm very proud to have a big man like a, 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 a first class diplomat like a, a Ambassador Beho believing in me. It's a big honor. Very what did honor. you tell him directly? Ambassador Beho. Yes. I told him that um, in this country, it's, he's been there, one of the best. And for him to believe in me, then I think I've made it and I'll make it. I'll be the president, God willing. Did you, did you go to beg him to do so? No. Interestingly, it was Ambassador Webster Beo who invited me. I see. Yeah, he invited me. Does this he have, is does he have any problem with the, uh, what do you call it, the former president, John Dramat? Do you need Mahama. to have any problem with somebody before you follow another person? No. You see, I'm, I'm you just looking at... No, no, why I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think he has any problem. Because, He's a man of experience oh, are you, and extreme do you, skill. Do you want to tell me all those who are not following me have problems with me? I don't think so. So? But for a man like that to come out boldly, yes. mindful of his positioning within the end. It's a matter of preference. There must be triggers to this. No, it's a matter of preference. There must there be other you believe. to it. It's a matter of preference that you okay. believe can handle the, the leadership better. Mm -hmm. And I've led throughout my life. Okay. I was a student leader. But you're not president. I was, a, I was, I was you, see, you don't need to be a president to become a president. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Like I told you, yeah. the son of a farmer was a farmer. Mm. Tractor driver and combined harvester driver. As I sit here, I have experience in farming. <laughs> That's interesting. I was a student leader, so experience in youth leadership. Football administrator, up to the blaster level. Experience in sports management. National governors, Greater Accra Regional Minister, Northern Rail Minister, Member of Parliament. Education, up to Vice Chancellor. Tell me, my brother. Any president in this country who had this wealth of experience before he became a president? Tell me. I can't recall any, but... You can't recall. I, I cannot recall Even any. if later you call, it means that he have made you to think. Because these things should have been just there for you. Mm. Yeah. Now, let me get this straight. I mean, talking about the endorsements, yeah. the Parliament of the Republic of Ghana, mm. it looks like a huge chunk of the minority are endorsing former President Mahama. Yeah. Does that scare you? 94 of them, 94 votes out of about 300,000 vo votes. I think um, I don't have any problem with that. I went to their consensus, and the delegates told me that they were not consulted, and they have their own choice. Oh, okay. Choice. Yes, they so told the me. people are dissociated this, from the We MP's have decision. this recorded on video. Oh, okay. They, it's not anything that we stay. The crowd. I asked them, your MP has endorsed uh, one of the aspirants. Did he consult? Then they said, no, no. But know, is it not interesting that you may have to pick out of this same number? Mm -hmm. the chunk of your ministers, people who openly refuse to endorse mm -hmm. you? Well, you see, um, parliament is there for everybody. We don't know what will happen in the next parliament. Okay. Yeah. That's also true. I get that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the mm -hmm. point that I'm making also in this particular mm -hmm. case is that the MP's endorsement, mm -hmm. the co-endorsement by other groupings in mm -hmm. your political party, yeah. does it not talk about how heated this race is going to be like? Recently, we understand every that. Every member, every aspirant is tough. Yeah, really? And yeah, every aspirant to me is tough. You see, the guns have a problem. And let me put it in Ghana. They don't see how we can put yeah. it in English. About three ten or shamo. Do you speak Ghana? No. About three ten or shamo. You know, when you go into wrestling, when we're young, you might think you are too strong. So you think you can just 
bully anybody. Mm -hmm. So you start with a small boy. If you don't take any step on a stone, you're afraid that he'll beat you and beat you very well. I see that. You understand? <laughs> I get your point. He'll whip you. Yes, I get your point. About mm -hmm. Tetan Moshamo. So you're not underestimating it's any like, competitive like, It's industries. just like David and Goliath. Yeah. About Tetan Moshamo. So even the Bible is there, right? And it happened when we were young, right? So, so it's not a matter of thinking that somebody is weak. Every aspirant for me uh, is, is strong. And I'm approaching the same formula for all of us. I heard the National Youth Organizer recently elected say that his round suggests that former President Mahama is on his way to victory in the election that you are contesting. That's is that what a he's a saying. positive sign, mindful yeah. of the fact that he's an elected executive of the party? You see, the interesting thing about our party is that when a particular candidate declared that he's standing there, the people believe that or think that he has won. Mm. So the, the, to, to get closer to him, yeah. Yeah, they think they, they should all be a Make endorsing, declarations endorsing like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But we'll go to the polls. And we'll you see what you are happen. confident that I'm you I'm very confident that come that day, people will sleep early. Really? They'll sleep early. Uh, exactly Maybe you will not sleep because you believe, you believe in me. <laughs> exactly what is the basis of this particular confidence? Because my message is going down and my vision is what is. And you're convinced that messages are the most important element in political, real politic engagement. For the first in this time country. in the history of our party, people will look at message and the capability as uh, it's against money. Money can change their minds. I think this time round it will change. You don't look like the most resourceful in this race. But you see, I'm in a race. Am I not in a race? Yeah, you are. Am I not strongly in a race? When push comes to shove, you might not be able to raise the amount of money needed. Am I not in the race? For example, when it comes to a money play, yeah. you, you will not be the Money is already candidate. playing, but I'm still in the race. Oh, you don't know? Money is playing. It's playing, but I'm in a race. <laughs> you see, as you sit here, yeah. the way you see yourself, mm -hmm. God doesn't see you that way. I see. So the gamma will say, Miji, Miji, Eboli. The way you see yourself, God doesn't see you that way. Is it to say Let's that see. You, have, you, have, you have more resources that we know of? Or it, it's not a matter of resources. Because, because we know how politics is done in this country. Yeah. We've moved from the idealistic, principled engagement to who has the most resource it is to believed oil, that the wheels it, of wisdom it, in the It country. is believed that in the last 2016 election, the NDC mm -hmm. had a lot of resources, pumped in a lot of resources. Was have so much money. That's it is believed. That's what, that's what people, yeah, yeah it mm -hmm. is believed, yeah. But what happened to us? So let's learn and move on. Okay, Th that's the basis of your uh, conviction that you're actually bent to make... The base of my conviction is that I'm working, and I'm working. Okay. And as you invited me here, it's mm -hmm. part of the work. I get your point. Well, now, th th there's... Uh, did you charge me for coming here? Not, not at all. You see? I, I, get, I get your point, but I'm not a delegate seeking a man I'm talking to, them. to enrich myself in the process. I'm talking to them. <laughs> okay, I, I get that inclination properly. Mm. Is there a level playing ground in this race? You know, people believe that there's no level playing ground in politics all yes. over the world. Yeah. So I cannot say that there's a that level that's the level playing ground. But you must understand. Where your, your team did a press conference, forgive me, yeah. uh, uh, indicating that you would require some form of fairness in this race. Again, I'm told by the former Central Regional Minister that some of you, about five of you, mm. uh, potential candidates in this race mm. have been meeting. And the cracks of your meeting. And that he saw is, me at that meeting. That he saw me at that meeting. Oh, he didn't say you were part of it. No, he told you that he saw me at that no, meeting. No, no, no. He's not saying that you were part of it. Oh, okay. But he said some of you have been meeting. Okay. And the yeah. quest is to make sure that mm. you demand a fair playing ground. That's what I'm asking you directly. Whether fair playing ground? Yes. Even in the national election, we all demand. Yeah. Even in the national election. When we had government, and people demanded that. That is true. And even in the next 2020, we shall demand that. Are so you... every election, we have to demand a fair playing ground. Is there a basis for this demand different from what happens all the time? You see, this is the first time our, uh, what do you call, branches are yeah. voting. And we're going to, this is the first time NDC will be having over 300,000 uh, delegates voting. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So you need to put things rightly. Okay. And that is why we're asking for that. Mm. So that, I mean, at the end of it, everybody will be satisfied. Yeah. You're not in the race with minions. Some of the people very experienced. Ekos Gabra, former President Mahama, and others who have been in the politics as long as you've been in this particular political terrain. Mm. What makes you stand tall? Because of my height. 
No, no, I, mean, mm -hmm. I, I didn't mean it literally. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I, 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 I meant to say okay. that okay. what's okay. your trump card in mm. this race? My trump card is my vision. Vision? My vision. I my see. vision for the party, my vision for the country. And this vision is to make sure that the party structures are rebuilt, give them offices, put them first, and reconnect them. That's the much I've heard from you. You know, our party executives at the constituency level, right, mm -hmm. do not have the required uh, resources to work. And I'm saying, I've been saying. Yeah, the saying, former president, Mama, thinks same too. No, no, no. I said it first. I said it first. Mm. Right? That we are going to resource them. And my method is to get them uh, open bank account and we have an amount of money, a fixed deposit. Okay. Where the interest, if it is even 25%, will be used to run the party. The people believe in that message. They believe okay. it. They believe in that message. They believe in that message. They believe in the constituency. They believe in my mode of appointing ministers, going to appoint ministers. And which mode would this be? Well, I'm, I've been saying from last year that um, well, I want to appoint a minister from Joy FM constituency, right? I know I have a party, Joy FM, and I know uh, multimedia, let's speak that way. I know I have a party, they have executives, they have the branch executives there. I will throw it to them to get me somebody who can, be, uh, can do the job and at the same time can take care of the constituency, you follow? So at, I'm bringing government closer to them. And that's what I term uh, the grassroots being center of governance, right? And they are buying to that message as well because they believe that we appoint ministers and they think because of their level of intelligence and that's why they're appointed. But you're appointed because they made it possible for you to be appointed. I see. Because they made us to win and um, we also have the opportunity. So get closer to them. And they should have a say in who becomes, uh, what do you call it, um, a minister of state from their constituency. Mm. It's very, very important, right? That is one. Okay. I have designed a, a women empowerment program for our party members eh, based on the contributions that we're making to help them. They are also buying to that message, mm. right? Okay, yeah. I, I get that's your point. Now, My job creation method, mm -hmm. not only for members of our party, for the entire country, they are buying to the message. And I can give you one or two of them if you, if you have time. Forgive me, but I need to make this point mm. and I need to ask you this direct question. Yeah. You know why you believe the NDC lost the election? Yeah. How different will the Professor Joshua Labi run campaign be mm -hmm. from that of the John Mahama run campaign in 2016? Biological extension, how different are you from the John Mahama kind of presidency that was, we saw in 2016? And you'll be proud to that particular time. What kind of assurance can you give the people that it's mm -hmm. not business as usual when it comes to your case? It's not going to be just as usual. I've, I've led an organization before. Yes. And um, but but I'm in business with. You didn't become the president no, of the no, 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 no. You move, when you pass your exams from class five, you move to class six. Very much so. And, and in, in all the assignments that I have in this country, I've received state awards in them. For example, right, uh, I was the marketing man of the year in 2012. And I think you know what it means to be a marketing man of the year. I get your point. I was... Uh, made the Imani Ghana, made me the most influential public sector leader of the year 2013. Yeah. Right? So that is about leadership too. Now, all African students, you know, all students in Africa, their leadership, made me the African best vice chancellor of the year, vice chancellor of the year in Africa. You follow? In fact, the country, Ghana, in 2016, eh, gave me the order of the voter. Mm. So it's not like I took positions and I didn't work. Okay? So, class five have passed. And I'm going to class six. And but once you pass class five, the presence is a different category. No, 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 no. I asked you a question, you've not answered. That tell me one president who had this experience before he became a president. You said you'd be thinking, I've given you more than 15 minutes, you've not told no, me. My question really mm -hmm. is how different so I'm coming. is your running so you see, of the state going yeah, to so be I'm from you, that my, of John Germain? My Mahama. background, my background, yes. eh, and what I've achieved. Very wonderful wait, 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 yes, wonderful and, 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 wonderful and, backgrounds and, do not guarantee you an excellent presidency in any way. If somebody, yes. eh, who you give this cup to multiply it four times, and now you want to give the country to, then the belief here is that you can multiply the performance four times. How, how, that is why. How is that likely yes. to be a solution to corruption, for example? Oh, corruption. I'll tell how, you. How is that likely uh, yeah, to yeah, be? Yeah, I'll tell you. My, my, my first, I have to 
Admit. You mean your track yes, record yes. in no, fighting no, wait, corruption? No, no, wait, wait, wait. First, I do tell them. First, I have to admit that it's good for us to have the office of the special prosecutor. But. It's good. Wait, wait, wait. But what we have to do is to resource. That is one. And also, the, we need to establish the accountability cost too. So when we send reports from the Ottawa General to Parliament, eh, we need to send them to the accountability court, which will be very strict. Then we need to use technology. This has been proposed. Wait, 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 technology. I'm talking about the now. I'm coming. To have have, they, the have, have they proposed technology in bringing down corruption or reducing corruption? No, I'm talking about. So listen to what I'm going to say. Yes. Right. I'll give an example. My thing is is not serious, but it's very serious. As a vice chancellor of my university, hmm, when this tracking device came into the system first, the drivers didn't know, so I made them to fix these things, all the vehicles, and I was monitoring because of fuel. And that's part of corruption, okay? The abuse. Now, there was a particular day a driver took the vehicle to his house, and this is against the, the, the standard operating procedure. Not only that, but the engine was on throughout the night. He didn't know that we had a tracking device there. So the next day he came. When he came, I called him, came to my office. I said, you took the vehicle to us. He was trying to deny. I said, look, if you deny and I prove to you, you are out of this institution. So he confessed to. I said, okay, this, that's number one. Number two, the engine was on throughout the night. Again, he said, no, not true. And you know, as usual, they'll start with that. That's said, my brother, it is true. Again, if you deny and I prove to you, you'll be in trouble. Right? So he also, then he said, okay, um, he went to the house, uh, lights off, and mosquitoes, and the room was too hot. So he kept on the car engine, air conditioning, and then slept inside. Now, this driver believed that I have some juju. He didn't know that there was a tracking device. With this, they all got frightened. So they, they went strictly according to the standard operating procedure. So the abuse of fuel and vehicle, which can also be termed corruption in this small way. I'll give an example. In the university system, you apply to university, you go to university, you pay money, you buy a form. Not so. Yeah. We saw that the process was breeding corruption. So we said, no. Um, you go to the bank, you pay your money, then you can go for your form on the university. Well, it reduced it, but there was still corruption there. They said, no. Now, we take the forms to the bank. Hmm? You pay, and the bank will give you the, this thing. OK? Now, we have moved beyond that. We say now you pay, and then go online and print and fill. You see? So this idea of somebody selling forms through the back door, increasing this thing, we reduce it. You seem to cite very nice examples from your time at the That is UPSA. my experience. And I'm going to another experience. None at your time mm. as board chairman of SNIT. Let me tell you about your mouse. None at your time. Wait, 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 wait. Where there was Let me huge tell you. scandals Let me in the place. There's a difference between yeah. sometimes you need to let the people know what to mean by corporate governance so they will see it properly. UPSC, I'm citing this example because I was the chief executive. I was in the chair, not the chairman. Yeah. Not the chairman of the board. We are the chairman. Yeah. I was the chief executive. So I was in the chair driving yeah. it. Now, Snit, I was not an executive chairman. I think you know what we mean by executive chairman. I get your point. Good. And I was not the chief executive too. I was a board chairman who goes to meeting once a month. I get you. So the day-to-day -day operations are not really my favorite. Mm. It is the duty of, mine is about the policy. Is the policy right? Then board, let's discuss it and approve or reject. There's enough yes. evidence to suggest that yeah. mm -hmm. when the mess around the OBS issues came, it, came it is in the, the minutes of SNIT. You see, when yes. we do politics in this country and they want to smear, they will know what to do. But go to the minutes of SNIT and you realize that uh, we credit management eh, for going beyond an amount of money that they spent. That's all it did? Yes, we did. It's in a minute. That's all? No, no, we don't finish. Okay. In the same minutes, it is there that we said we're going to do an audit. This happened, uh, this meeting was November 7th, 2016, when they came to us to approve uh, to, um, an amount that they've spent already. And okay. we said no. So we credit them. That is one. Because they should have Come to the board first, okay? They didn't come, so we create them. Then we said, oh, this, even this project, the way they are going, let's do a serious audit into the project. It's in the minutes. Unfortunately, the NDC lost election one month after the Zima seven. But we're all this in the minutes. So we package all that, eh? and we said, the new board coming should continue from where we left. So truly, when they came, 
they started the audit. But what they did was that they publicized the audit as if it was there. But it's in the minutes. Okay. And if you go to the minute, it is there. So it's not a matter of Alabi telling you to do or not telling so you. So you started wait. the quest to clean up. Yes, yes, you yes. You supervised yes. the... Yes, wait, wait, wait. We didn't the... award that contract. Yes. We didn't award that contract. You met it. But when the matter of that contract came to the board, we acted. It's the, you see, if you want to understand how board operates... Have you still been invited by Yoko? I went once and they told me I'm a honest and truthful person. Should go out. That's what Yoko told you? Yes, and their report is out. They My told name you is they are not there. investigating you? They are not investigating me. That's and they told, told me you. I'm honest and truthful. And their report is out and they've taken people to court. Alabi is not there. Why are you raising it? <laughs> That's not the point I'm asking in this case. Now, <laughs> there's another point to this particular issue about SNIT. Because you seem to present a clean bill of health when it comes to corruption in this case. But there's a Yeah, because you see, one, you but, see what. But you work for former President Mahama. He's I, been on uh, various occasions accused of being corrupt. Mm -hmm. You work for him, right? Uh, I was a board chairman at SNIT. But my main work was the vice chancellor of the University of Professional Studies. Uh, uh, and okay. the country yeah. uh, decided to use my tanker brain to help at SNIT I, I, as board chairman. I, 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 I get you. Uh, it's not an that. article. What was mm -hmm. the 78 the, uh, the holder? No. Okay. I was, yes. And it's mm -hmm. not only SNIT. I was also chairman of Accra Tanker University Board. The, I was to, to chairman the of HFC Bank. Mm. Uh, I was chairman of uh, Ghana Book Development Council. Again, to the man that uh, appointed you to boss. SNED, to uh, the man that appointed yeah. you to SNED, yeah. do you think it's some form of betrayal mm. for you to be now going up against him in this race? This is the problem that you people face. I started this campaign last year. And then this year, the BDC comes in and you say I'm challenging him. Who is contesting who? Why was it obvious uh, that the former no, no, president no, 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 was going to contest? No, 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 The whole of, no, 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 he didn't tell you he was going to contest the first year. No, but did, did he did tell you? Nobody with a proper piece is not Ghanaian public contest. No, 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 my, my, my brother, contest. did he tell you? So, so I should wait, vacant seat, uh, two days to the election, then somebody announces before. You see, the whole of the first year, yeah. I was campaigning. Then midway in the second year, I campaigned. And then he came to tell the whole world that he's going to contest me. And you are telling me I'm contesting him. Is it fair? You don't think he's a con Okay, so he's contesting you. He's rather. contesting me. I see. It's an interesting twist to yes. put no, 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 no. But Am I right so, or wrong? So, no, let's be fair. Okay, let me yeah, be fair. Yes, right? by the sequence of who, the, 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 the who, who is filed first, oh, no, you are no, no. right. It's not a matter of filing really. first. It's a matter of me campaigning a whole year, ahead of time. Campaigning whole year without the man talking. Right? Then mm -hmm. the whole January, February, March, I was campaigning. Then he may he landed, then I should run and go hide. Is that what you are telling me? No, I'm just saying that some no, no, say no, 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 that betrayal it is, of confidence. It, 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 it's not a betrayal of confidence. The man is contesting me. And instead of you to talk to him, you are talking to me. <laughs> I, I get your point. You get my point. Yeah, I get your so point. So we're on the same page. No, we are the same page. Just Brent, that this bro, is the most you. interesting twist up right, that you <laughs> the, put to most this. Really, <laughs> clearly. clearly. <laughs> there's no twist, it's the fact. <laughs> oh, bro, there's no, no twist, no, it's the fact. There's also the argument that you are... Heating up. You don't know. You know you will not win the uh, flag. I know I will not win, and I waste my time to no, come no, here to no, talk no. about this. It's because you are putting yourself in the position, <laughs> appropriately and rightfully, you are putting yourself in the position to make running mate. My brother. Because the president, my brother, the former president is from the north. I have former my, president Mahama is from the north. Yes. You are from the south. Yes. It's a very smart move to yeah, gauge no, no, no. a contest. Later on, he, be, he makes you a running mate. You see, the, 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 your understanding yes. is that once he declared he has won. So it's a matter no, of... Wait, no, wait, no, no, no. But then why do you talk of running mate? I'm, my, problem I'm now, saying that my problem now is who I'm going to choose as my running mate. That's your problem. That is my problem now. Really? I'm thinking about who is going to be my running mate, not me be, be, uh, uh, being a running mate. If you are offered that position, would you accept it? You see, I'm in this race yeah. to win, eh, to become the president of Ghana, and God willing, I'm going to win. If you and don't I'll win. be the president of the Republic of Ghana, go with it for two consecutive terms. If you don't win. And for two consecutive terms. And the day that they announced that Alabi has won primaries, Nana Adodanko Akufado will start packing from the flat staff house. Really? I'm telling you, he'll start packing. The day he get, he, they announce, he'll start packing from the flat staff house. That's a very He has some time to me. pack because uh, from the day of announcement to the next election will be about maybe 18 months or 20 months. Mm -hmm. So he has some time to pack, but he will start packing. I, I get your point, but yeah, I want yeah. to be clear in my mind. Yeah, be clear. If you don't win mm. and you're offered the vice presidential mm. slot, would you accept it? I've not thought of that. I'm a very focused person in life. Mm -hmm. And my focus, not now, alternatives. Uh, my focus now yes. is to win. You don't the, have a plan premise. B. My focus now is to win the, 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 the election. I thought you would have been very categorical in mm. telling me, yeah. no, I'm going for the presidency. If I don't get it, I'll not settle for vice I am president. getting it. 
That is the problem you have. Why do you think I'll get it? I'm telling you, I am going to win. And when I win, my problem is to choose my running mate. But I, as a city, I hear people of your kind say I'm going to win all the time. I hear them all the time. This is Joshua Lamy. to be last in the race as let still of the people let, let, that are going tell to win. You. Let me tell you. So I'm when, I, when, you. when I went to when I went to the Soviet Union and I contested for the post of NUKS USSR, we were a thousand Ghanaian students there, all sponsored. And it was a very tough thing for us. Mm -hmm. The incumbent was a PhD scholar who wanted a second term. Okay. And I was a junior, second year student. Not even I've not even finished my masters. Mm -hmm. The same thing. People told me, Alabi, this man, you can't beat him. He is popular. He's your senior. They said everything. I went and I with him. I came to Ghana again, and I decided to go and contest on the circuit of uh, NDC at Clover Constituency Primaries. We had an incumbent MP. The same thing. People told me, Alabi, he's the incumbent. He's popular. He will beat you. Don't waste your time and money. I went and I beat him, and I went to Parliament. This time, people are telling me the same thing, and I'm telling them that, Alabi, I will win, because I've been doing that. Yeah, but these are different terrains. No, 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 no. Few students I've been, I've, I've graduated from students and then to uh, MP, and I'm going to the, the, the flash of house. You are very I'm convinced moving. this will happen. Very, very convinced I'm winning, and I will be the present going. Uh, Is that what your team tells you? Is that what your team tells you? My brother, it's not a matter of what my team tells me. Yeah. It's what collectively we are, we are working for, and we, are, we see it coming. But you've heard the expression fear delegates, right? Fear delegates. Yes. That is what I'm telling my opponents. That's what I'm telling your opponents? Yes, they should fear delegates. Really? That's what I'm telling my opponents. You are telling me somebody has won already. And I'm, you are telling me. I'm, I'm not of the opinion that anybody has won. Uh, uh, I cannot afford okay, to say okay, anybody now, has that, won. So now we can talk. Would that be very unfair on my yeah, side to yeah, personally yeah. that anybody has won? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But okay, I've heard okay. many say yeah. that the former you president has, has me, an upper you, hand in this You race. have not asked me who I'm going to choose for my rally mate. But you are asking me if somebody wins. Will I accept? Is that we have taken a decision? I know. Already. I'm asking whether you accept a plan B in this case. But it doesn't look like that's on the table for you. I'm winning. Yeah, winning. I'm winning, and uh, come 2020, God willing, I'll be moving to the flat staff house. And I'm not only going to be the president for one term, but two consecutive terms. We'll be looking forward to that particular and day. The delegates will have an opportunity to ask me questions when I come for a second term. Mm -hmm. That is very important. Now, and that is what the delegates are looking for an opportunity to question you after your, your first term. How much do you think that you'll be a better president than the president of the Republic of Ghana today? None other than Kwaku Fuado. Of course, I'll be a better president. What makes because, you think you see, so? The problem today now, right, is job creation. Uh, youth. There's been NAPCO. Yeah. The government says it's created uh, about one million jobs already. After three years, they are off, my brother. I'm talking about permanent job. And jobs are people who own. And do you want me to explain the way I'm going to create jobs? One or two? And yes, just one or very two. briefly, just uh, briefly, no, no, because no, no, I'm running no, out no. of time. Yeah, yeah, one or two, okay. Yeah. For example, you see, this and agri, uh, 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 Ghana basically is agriculture that we normally survive on. And um, we have a whole university, for example, Ken University. Mm -hmm. They have an agri department, okay? So let's take only agri, for example. There are other sectors that yeah. I can talk about. Students write projects third year, and they defend fourth year. And after they're in the chef, nothing comes out of the projects. But I'm saying, as an academic and as a politician, I'm saying that the third year, you get five students from the agri department in their third year one marketing student and one accounting student. And then that will be seven. And then three farmers from a community. But the students from the university will write a proposal. Okay? And then in their fourth year, where they normally defend their projects, they defend the proposal. The proposal is, is to, uh, to show what they, can, what they want to do when they complete. A committee will help them to publish a proposal. And based on that, they can to fund them for the first two years. Just like we do national service. That sounds interesting. Yes. I, 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 I was trained in the Soviet Union, you know, and I know the corporate system very well, right? And I, 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 I saw it, and I read about it, right? So, you see, when we fund them for the first two years, mm -hmm. after that, we leave them. Okay. You Forgive can me. see that after the first two years, they will start to grow. They will rather employ people. This is only one group in agri, but there can be hundreds of groups. You can go into even, uh, what do you call it, uh, fashion. You can go into even sports. I guess we have to run up on this conversation. Yeah, Forgive me, my time. We, we have to. In fact, Bro, you we need, have to continue you, this conversation. Need, we have need, to delve deeper need, into you your plans. You need and see more how that injection. Works. You need more injection for my, my, my plans. Very much so. Yeah, at the end of you, it, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be okay. Well, that's why we tied the nice rebates on today's edition of Upfront. Professor Joshua Labi was my guest.
Thank you for joining us today.